rivalry among siblings is nothing new. In the Bible, we read about the twins Esau and Jacob. Esau was the older one, and by birth he had certain rights attached to him according to their culture. But Esau was a rash man, and once, when he came home from his hunting trip, he was so hungry that he pleaded to have the dish that his brother Jacob had prepared. And he was able to get it while he sold his birthright. I suppose he regretted that quick decision, because it's very often unwise to heed the impulses to satisfy the senses. Isaac was the father of the two twins, and uh, he decided to bless the older one. His mother heard about his plan, and together with Jacob, they devised a plan to trick the father to give the blessing to the younger son rather than the older. Of course, this enraged the brother Esau, and it made him so mad that he wanted to kill his younger brother Jacob. There was only one solution for Jacob, that was to flee from his home. And he fled to Mesopotamia to uh, his brother Laban, and there he had to slave away for 20 years. But after all the years in Mesopotamia, God calls Jacob to come home. But he's afraid. So as he is approaching home and he's about to meet his brother, he divides uh, his family into two groups and he sends gifts. 200 goats, 200 sheep, 30 camels, 40 cows and more. Maybe you have done something wrong. Maybe differences have embittered relatives and friends. And now it is time to return home. Time to mend broken relationships. Time to create peace and reconciliation. Why not try a gift? Make the first move to create that peace and harmony that you long for. Jacob wanted to get that peace and reconciliation. He wanted to make sure that his brother would receive him well. And when he receives and meets the brother, he says, meeting you was like seeing the face of God. You can also create something new, begin something new in a relationship that has gone sour. Why not send a gift? Make the first move to show that you want to be on good terms with the people that has been estranged for so many years. Jacob wanted to get rid of his guilt. And in the end, he had to realize that only grace is the solution for guilt and sin.